Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Nanatsu no Taizai Fundo no Shimpan or The 7 Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment which is on episode 14. Anyways, this episode right here looks really nice and simple as I, as I always say all the time so if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that um, the opening of the scene of Nanatsu no Taizai's new episode with, it opens up with natural disaster, natural disasters, starting from hailing, tornadoes, lightning, and possibly some major earthquakes, you know? Something that's not really good for our Earth itself, for example. Unfortunately, this is happening because Meli Otis activated his own demon power, and the world is really rejecting him, telling him to get the hell out. Bond explains this to Elaine that Meli Otis has to leave eventually, because the more he stays, the more... The more natural, the worse the natural disasters will become, you know, etc. So as time continues on, you know, in the so we had two that they that the seven deadly sins decides to do some like um ingredient hunting and get things ready for a certain party, I guess. But eventually, as the episode continues on, you know, it only gets a little worse down the road where Bond does tell Meliodas, these guys aren't very naive as you think. I think it's really time that you should tell them, you know. And when it came to came to Deanne, Merlin, and Elaine, along with like um, Elizabeth, they end up talking about like um, the situation with Meliodas. But Elizabeth says, "I I already know that Meliodas has to disappear from this world, but I'm okay with it." Deanne's like, "Are you sure? This ain't something that should be taken this that should be um take taken off easily, or something that you should like um say that you're calm about." But Elizabeth says. Meli always became the demon king to save me, and there's no way that in heck I could like um, what you may call it um. Allow that, allow him to stay here, you know, because the more he stays here, the worse things will get f for the world, and who knows what's gonna happen, you know, and it's only gonna get very ugly. We have to it that Deanne was really concerned about this, and we get to know down the road um that um. Eventually, um, Meli Otis does talk to everyone that he will have to disappear from this world and he's going to go to the demon world, you know? Although Hawk seems really upset about this, but he understands the situation, wishing that Meli Otis shouldn't be such a fool, you know, about talking about it. We have to it that eventually we go to a scene with Baltra and the others having to like him have a party with the Seven Daily Sins and thanking them for all the accompl 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 accomplishments they did, despite what had... What what has happened with them many times over and over again, you know, etc. Eventually, Baltra, or Elizabeth's father, asks Meliodas, Hey, would you mind um, taking over my seat as king? I asked Gil Thunder, Margaret, and the others, but unfortunately, they say, Nah, we're not, we're not really fit for the, we're not really fit for the role, you know, that kind of thing. Um, as the episode continues on, you know, they and we have to it that like. Um, We had to it that, like, um, unfortunately, Elizabeth tells everyone, yeah, father, about that. I'm gonna go to the demon world with Meliodas, you know, etc. And everybody was really shocked about that. And we have to, we get to see Elizabeth and, Len and Elaine talking with each other about the situation. And we have to it that Elaine's very happy about this, but sad at the same time. But their friendship will forever be, f will forever be there, you know? And we have to, of course, um, Deanne asks, Merlin, what is the demon world like, you know? And Merlin explains it's like a really nasty place, you know? Sometimes, like, um, living beings, whoever goes there would tend, would tend to rot away very badly. But if Elizabeth is there, she'll be fine, you know? That kind of thing, etc. And we see to it that as the episode continues on, you know, everybody is really sad to see how, like, um... Meliodas and Elizabeth will be going together, but they're very happy at the same time. Meliodas recounts his times about what he has done, you know, about like um how he fall, fell in love with Elizabeth, and eventually he ended up doing a lot of bad, effed up stuff for 3,000 years, you know, and he really didn't enjoy this at all, and he's really upset about it, you know, and I can see where he would, I, you can understand where he's coming from eventually. All he did was like make a war, and then you know, trying to find a way to break the curse no matter what, you know, and all I, and what I did to Arthur, and everything that falls upon me, you know, what, I, I'm a really pathetic, cruel man, so, 
during these 3,000 years, all I care about was undoing the curse on Elizabeth and mine. And all those things, all those things I've done was really, was really inexcusable. Hell seems like the right place for me after all I've done. But we have to it that, like, um, the seven deadly sins, sins tells Meliodas that's not the case. You are a good guy. You saved many people along the way, you know, such as Merlin, you saved us, and many others. And, and it's only natural that you do these kinds of things, you know? And eventually, uh, eventually the seven deadly sins with the... Ends up telling Meliodas, "Hey, man, you may have done a lot. You may have done a lot of effed up stuff or something that's not very forgiving. But you did it for the one you love. It's only natural to get a little desperate when you are really at a corner at yourself at the corner. You know, the next day comes about, and everybody was saying their goodbyes to like um, is saying their goodbyes to like um, Meliodas and Elizabeth. You know, and we have to it that Elizabeth um." And Meliodas was about to get ready to like um, go to the demon world, but unfortunately something bad happened. A big giant rock falls on Elizabeth, and all of a sudden everyone could only stare in shock at what just happened. And Meliodas could only cry out in total dis in total disarray in total disarray, you know, and in in great shock whatsoever, you know. So it looks like to me things are not going to be over yet. But but the way how it went, how it ended, man, it's only like. It's really freaking stinking scary, you know, in a certain way. But whatever the case may be, yeah, it's really, really bad. <laughs> preview of next episode is preview of next episode is called Fated Brothers, you know, and that's about it. So yeah, Meliodas can't stay in the world, and eventually, when Meliodas and Elizabeth gets ready to go to the demon world, Elizabeth looks like to me gets crushed by a giant rock and. <laughs> Yeah, things are not looking so great. So, until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot!